how to use the power of intention to claim your desires fast. When you tap into the power of intention, you will find your desires manifesting faster than you ever thought possible. I will show you my exact steps. Most people do have an idea of what they really desire in life. The problem is that the attitude they take towards their desires leaves them feeling unfulfilled. When you spend most of your time wishing and hoping that you will get what you want, you never end up getting anything that you want. And this is because you attract more of the things that you are feeling. So if you are in a state of wanting and never having, you will attract more things that leave you in the state of wanting and not actually having. So what we're going to do today is change your state so you are in a state of expectation instead of wishfulness. Expectation is a very powerful state to be in as you intend to get what you want and I'm going to show you how to do that today. Today you will understand the difference between wishing and setting intentions. You will discover how powerful intentions are and you will uncover my exact process for setting intentions that actually manifest. My name is Kath Kyle and I help content creators and change makers manifest business success through spirituality, self-belief and strategy. I help you master your marketing, manifestation and money mindset. I would like to know, are you struggling to manifest any of the things that you want? Are you currently feeling desperate because you feel like you can't be happy without the things that you want? And are you feeling stuck because you never seem to get anything you desire? I would like to hear from you, so let me know what you're struggling with and leave me a comment on my blog, my YouTube channel or send me a DM on Instagram and believe me I have been there myself. Do you want to instead feel in control of your life, feel satisfied because you are able to manifest what you want? Do you want to feel certain about your future that it will work out for you? Do you want to feel powerful because you can build a business that you desire? We are going to help you to get into that state today. So how to use the power of intention to claim your desires fast. So let's start by looking at the definition of the word intention. An intention is basically defined as something that you want and plan to do. Whenever I set out with my intentions, I envision myself becoming a person I aspire to be. In that sense, I understand that intentions are what contributes to my character building. So what is the actual difference between goals and intentions? Because last time we looked at the 3G goals. So a goal is defined as the result or achievement toward which effort is directed. The big difference between goals and intentions are that goals can be external to us so we don't always take ownership of them such as the business is going to increase sales by 200% by the end of the year whereas when you set an intention it suddenly becomes something that you want to take on yourself such as I intend to increase my revenue by 200% by the end of this year It has a vastly different energy about it when you take ownership over something. That is why wishing or hoping is not going to help you get results. What you're really saying when you wish or you hope for a result is that you hope that somebody comes into your life and waves a magic wand and makes everything okay. And in no way are you taking responsibility for your own achievements. And I'm not to say that I don't believe in the power of prayer and in the power of God or the universe coming in and helping us with something. But I do believe in meeting God or the universe halfway by actually working on things that we need to work work on and leaving things to God or the universe that only God needs to work on. And that's what I talked about in the goals content last time. 
So that's the main reason why intentions are so powerful, because you take ownership of the fact that your results are dependent on you. Once you start owning your results, everything will change for you. So what are some of the benefits of setting intentions? There are so many. Let's go over some of them. There doesn't need to be a deadline to intentions. So this can reduce the amount of stress that you feel when you set deadlines for your goals. You can make intentions as small uh, or as large as you like. So they're very flexible and you can set as many intentions as you like as frequently as you like you can set intentions on a daily basis if you like intentions can help you keep balanced if you set them for every area of your life and when you set an intention it sends a message to your subconscious mind that this is the reality that is actually going to happen it starts to take you seriously. And when that happens, your subconscious mind will send signals to your conscious mind to bring about whatever changes you need in order to meet your intentions. In other words, you'll end up manifesting your desires, which is exactly what we want to do. So when you set intentions, you naturally feel in control of your life, which feels really empowering. Setting intentions makes you feel happier. Intentions help you to become more productive as you go through through your day so you achieve more and setting intentions that align with your goals makes you much more likely to achieve them. So that's pretty fantastic. There are so many benefits of setting intentions. So how do we go about the process of writing intentions? There are two different ways to write intentions, short term and long term. I like to use both when it comes to getting results in my business and I'm going to go over the steps to writing both short-term and long-term intentions now. How to write short-term intentions. Short-term intentions are things that you need to do within the next three months. I like to write overviews of things that I intend to do within the next three months. When it comes to the next month, the next like 30 days, I write detailed intention lists of everything I intend to happen during this period. For a business, this is basically writing a list of tasks that I'm going to complete and allocating a date and time to do them. If you don't allocate a, ta a date and time to completing your tasks, you're not expecting short-term intentions to actually happen. If you expect something to happen, you create a space for it and you make a solid plan for it to happen. You can even break short-term intentions down even further by deciding if the tasks are one-off tasks or routines. Within a business, one-off tasks would be things like creating a webinar, creating a sales page, writing your about me page, or setting up an Instagram account. Whereas routines are things that happen repeatedly. I call these routines success rituals as the only point of creating routines is if you intend for them to bring success to your business. Examples of success rituals are things like writing three blog posts per week, posting daily to Instagram, emailing your list once a week or recording a video once a week. Intending your whole month, one month in advance, is one of the fastest ways to manifest your desires more quickly than anything else. So now that we've gone over short-term intentions, we are now going to focus on how to write long-term intentions. Long-term intentions are things that you plan to happen within the next one to 10 years. I don't get very detailed with my long-term intentions because I know that things can change all the time when it comes to our desires. So I keep it very general. I create an intention statement, which is a short statement that I read on a daily basis, which keeps my brain motivated and committed to my long-term goals. I go into much more detail and have various templates that you can use in my stamp goals book, but I will explain to you now how to create a basic intention statement. What I like to do is write my statement in the form of a gratitude statement as if my intentions have already happened. I put my 3G goals in my statement. And if you haven't heard about 3G goals yet, go back to my previous content called how to decide what to manifest for your dream business and then you will be able to decide exactly what you want your three business goals to be so this 
is how you start off the process. You start your intention statement by writing. I am so grateful that I have made a revenue of X amount by a certain date. So for example, I am so grateful that I have made a revenue of $1 million by a date 10 years in the future. Then you write some of the main things you are going to do with that money, which helps you to stay motivated. It might go something like this. This has enabled me to hire a housekeeper, buy a camper van, give money to charity and become financially free. Then you write how that makes you feel. For example, this makes me feel abundant, excited and secure. Then you write a general statement about what you are going to give in return for this money. For example, I am so happy to have provided educational products and mentoring to help entrepreneurs become more abundant. Then you write about the characteristics that you have that enable you to be the person who gets the results that you want. For example, I am so grateful that I am responsible and committed enough to my business to be able to help people and for them to be able to trust that I'm going to be there for them. Then, once you've completed your statement, you read this out loud, if you're able to, every single day. If you can't read it out loud, just read it in your head. Try and get into a routine so you don't forget to read it. And this is truly life changing. So now it's your turn to write some short term and long term intentions for your business. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Let me know in the comments or send me a DM on Instagram letting me know how this goes for you. I can't wait to hear from you. So now that you have learned how to use the power of intention to claim your desires fast by setting short term and long term intentions, you might be wondering how to get clear on the specifics when it comes to your business so you can manifest exactly what you desire. Clarity is so important and I'm going to share a very powerful technique with you that I use daily to create the exact life I desire. This is what I'm going to be sharing next time. So make sure you subscribe to my podcast and my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram so you don't miss that. Setting intentions is step three in the process of manifestation. You can get all, all 10 steps in the manifestation process by signing up to my free Manifest Business Su Success Challenge at manifestbusinesssuccess.com if you haven't already. So join the challenge while it is still free because I'm in the process of turning this content into a book. And while you're waiting for the next step in the manifestation process, you can start taking practical action in your business today. Get my free lesson where I walk you through my complete process of creating content that converts. This is part of my premium course, Dream Business Blueprint, and I'm only making this lesson free for a limited time because I'm testing di different lessons. So grab that while it's still available. So you can go to manifestbusinesssuccess.com to get your free constantly converting content lesson. And until then, go and put your stamp on the world.